Master Pan from that last Twitter blog, and now it's O365 Gaming. <clears throat> As you can hear from my voice, I kind of lost it, so it bear with me. Um, I just returned from my vacation, which was at the coast here in the Netherlands, and I decided to do a little thing about gamers on vacation. So, at first I figured I'm going to do in the uh, regular jokes like, oh my god, there's a bit hot yellow thing in the sky. There's a sea, and look at all the HD graphics that we have. <clears throat> but I figured that that would not be a good idea. Everybody's done that. <clears throat> at least that I saw. So, yeah. I figured to go with a little bit of a different approach. I took a lot of my equipment with me to go and see what worked best on vacation. Like, everybody is always going like, okay, I'm taking this along, I'm taking that, that along. The downside is you're always working with these hotspots, so your Wi-Fi is not going to be good. Um, what I took along were the uh, iPod Touch, my Samsung Tab, the laptop that I own, <coughs> the Nintendo DS, and my Vita. So I took all these along and I went and tried out each and every one of them. So first of all, we go and take a look at the iPod. The iPod has one amazing feature, which is that you can put all kinds of stuff on it and it goes in, like I said, in a different video. It comes in way different uh, capacities. So I've been playing a couple of games on there, which I thought would be fun. I've played Atlantis, um, Fallout Shelter, and uh, the regulars like Candy Crush. The only downside is the moment that your game is getting outdated and you have to update, you can't or it goes really difficult. I had a movie on there which I could watch and I had a couple of books on there but the screen is a little bit small so you have to kind of bear with it. Um, the downside is that a lot of games in the App Store do require Wi-Fi. So you're sitting there cursing at your hotspot that it doesn't connect or disconnected again in the middle of your game so yeah I did not personally didn't think it was that much fun to play with it other than reading my book and watching the movie because that was actually into, into the into my iPod so next up I tried my Samsung tablet I um, read into the exact same problems here a lot of the apps that I have on there require Wi-Fi. Games require Wi-Fi, so I could not play on it a lot. Uh, the things that I could do were a little bit of doodling. I took one of my pens along and those were... That kind of made it okay. Um, reading books on that one was actually a lot nicer because the screen is bigger and with my eyesight it worked way better for me. It started up real quickly, but the iPod did as well, so for me, mm, no. So then I went and I checked my laptop. My laptop had the, um, yeah, you have to find a, a steady ground for your laptop to sit on, and a campground table is not the most stable, I found out, so you're going to have to go inside, which is always warm and hot. Sorry about that. And they generally they don't really um, offer a lot of spaces for you to sit at at the campground. So yeah, I was sitting at a wobbly table at first, and my mouse didn't catch. So it wasn't that much fun. The surface was way too smooth. Then I went indoors and that was way, way too uh, warm, so I had to get out again because otherwise my uh, laptop would overheat, so I decided to sit it down on the cooler. And that kind of didn't work either because the cooler was all wobbly, so yeah, laptop was pretty much out of the question. You won't be going in and laptop game hardcore. You can check your mail, you can do your little 
Bichon's and uh, play Free Cell or something. But um, yeah, I tried Witcher and <laughs> um, after like three rounds of dying, I pretty much gave up on that. So then I've decided I'm going to go and I broke out my DS, which was the um, one of the better IDs that I've had actually. My DS um, is the 3DS XL and I took along uh, Final Fantasy 3, Kingdom Hearts, um, and Pokemon Y. These games I uh, love all of them and you don't sit there waiting for pesky updates to finish. You don't need Wi-Fi to go and play these games. You can just go turn it on and you can play it. And um, I've had loads of fun with it. I've been uh, playing more of the Vita uh, of the DS than I expected that I would do. Um, you have a lot of things that you can add to the Vita, like you can see in the picture here below is the uh, little added pad that they have right there, Click it. <coughs> which um, I don't own. But I don't really need it because uh, playing Pokemon doesn't really require any hardcore, at least in my opinion. And <clears throat> it was, you could adjust the sounds, you can actually go on uh, even the smallest of networks, you can actually connect to it for a little bit. And um, I just really loved it. It was, um, it does what it pretty much advertises to do. It's for the Okay, we're on to go. So then I decided like, okay, so this one worked. I'm gonna break out my Vita. Um, the Vita is a uh, device that I absolutely love. I use remote play, uh, screen protection all the time. Um, playing the Witcher upstairs, I can go downstairs and play it. Um, you have all kinds of games that you can put on there. I have Little Big Planet on there right now, um, Corpse Party, and um, a couple of other games, Gravity Rush. Um, the only downside again is that it will, the moment you start up Little Big Planet, you get the uh, let's connect to the internet thing. Yeah, not on a campground. So, all extra features that you would get with the internet suddenly went like Bloop, you don't have them anymore um, this was way less with the uh, PSP game Corpse Party that I play on there it was um, basically again doing what it should do but for me I think the big winner that came out of this was the Vita and the DS these two do what they are supposed to do. They let you play your games and you don't have to worry about all these pesky Wi-Fi solutions and stuff. Um, other than that, when you're out on vacation, um, go outside and go see stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you can actually go and enjoy. I visited a couple of cities. I went and sat at the beach, which was lots of fun. Like I said, the graphics are amazing out there. Give it a try. So this is my vacation little thingy that I made. It's been loads of fun. I've had loads of fun. And right now I'm back home. So you can enjoy me on my streams and on my channel, uh, my Facebook. I've kept you guys up to date with my vacation on Facebook. And right now I'm going to be posting a lot more because I have my network back. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I know I did. And I hope to see you all soon. So bye.